All right, what is going on, guys? Joe here from Income Athletics. Just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone who's celebrating Christmas. Happy holidays to those of you who celebrate anything else. Um, and happy almost New Year here. So um, I know I haven't put out a video in a few days, but I did want to kind of get you guys to be able to catch up with things, um, especially because I was pumping out a good amount of content. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Also, I did want to just overall give you an overview of kind of my training, um, give you some updates about some things that are going on here, um, some things you guys can look forward to um, in the new year. So the first thing I want to mention is the challenge that I'm going to be starting on January 26th. So right now I'm actually doing a challenge that started on December 12th, and that is actually going awesome. We're having a ton of people having great success. We're about three weeks, almost three weeks in now, and we've had a few people who are losing a ton of weight, um, people who are almost losing 10 pounds um, within that time period and that is just really cool because obviously it's a group coaching aspect um, so it's a little bit different but people are really enjoying that so I'm going to be running another group on January 26th I'm running an early bird special right now for just $35 and there's only 15 spots left so if there's something you're interested in looking to kind of make that transformation and start the new year right definitely sign up the link will be in the bio but other than that, guys, I've really just been focusing on my training lately, really been focusing on staying consistent as possible, and with my programming being done by someone else, it's really been awesome just to be able to go in the gym and execute and really not have to think as much about what I should be doing or whether my programming should be switched up or whether or not I'm doing the most optimal style of programming for myself. And this is where bouncing ideas off, bouncing those questions off with your coach, even though I am a coach myself, makes a world of difference. I also have a business coach for obviously the business side of things and having both of those people in your my, my life I think is a huge benefit to me in terms of my successes. So people who are looking for that coach and really think that maybe it's it's not needed for them or that I myself don't even need one because obviously I coach people, definitely not the case. But um, anyways, as you guys have seen, we've been doing, I've, I've definitely been doing a lot more full body style workouts that have been starting with that compound movement at the beginning, which is really the main focus of the lift and then moving in to more more towards that accessory style stuff at the end. So the big thing I do want to talk about is overall when it comes to your workouts, don't think so much about the workout split itself. The big thing you need to understand, especially when it comes to muscle growth and even strength, is getting in the necessary volume overall and then when it comes to strength, making sure you are touching those rep ranges that are going to be more of the strength oriented rep range. So a little bit lower, heavier loads, that's going to be needed of course to put on the strength, but if your goal is overall just size and you really just wanna focus on putting on muscle mass, it really comes down to making sure that volume overall, sets and reps, are, and obviously the load has to be adequate as, as well, but you can grow muscle in a lot of different, different rep ranges between three and 30 reps we've definitely found out based on the literature, and beyond that, we are at a point where we do know that when it comes down to things, the way you split up your volume in the week does not matter as much as what is going to work best for you and your schedule to get the necessary volume in. So when it comes down to it, the way you split things up isn't as, as really crucial in terms of the performance. You want to be hitting each muscle group twice in the week, ideally, um, but at the same time, overanalyzing things based on the split does not really matter too much. It really comes down to making sure you're just getting in that volume in some capacity. And what this will allow you to do is have a lot more flexibility with things and overall just allow you to kind of customize things better towards your life. But anyways, guys, I'll talk to you very soon. Um, and I'm going to close this video out um, talking to you guys directly. So thanks for watching, guys, and Merry Christmas to you guys. If you're celebrating, happy holidays overall. All right, what is going on, guys? So I just got done with the workout. And if you don't notice, if you're familiar with the channel, You'll notice that I'm not in my Silverado, my 2013 Silverado, which technically wasn't even mine. It was my dad's. And I've technically not even owned my own car, but well, I still haven't even owned my own car, but I've never even had a car of my own to call my own. Never got a car when I was 16. I always drove my dad's car, and if you guys don't know either, my dad is legally handicapped. He's had like five or six surgeries in my lifetime on his back. He has... I think three or four herniations, multiple bulging discs, he's got a lot of back problems, he can walk, he just has a lot of sharp pains, things like that, but my point is he has always pretty much been home, so I've had the truck available to me and that's been the vehicle I drive, as you guys see, but as you guys see, also right now, I'm not in the truck anymore, and I don't even want to post this on Instagram because honestly, I feel kind of, I don't want to be that guy, I hate being that person, that's not who I am, like, oh, look at what I just got, um, 
And to be honest, it's not like that at all. For me, it's like genuinely satisfaction knowing that I'm at a place right now where I work for myself and I'm able to afford a lease on a car that I not only want, I feel comfortable in, I'm safe in, it's practical, makes sense, and it's something that's gonna help me build credit, it's gonna help me build overall my ability to just pay bills, get used to that. I still live at home, but at the same time, I need to start getting used to those sorts of things, especially as a business owner myself. My point is, I just got a 2019, I'm leasing a 2019 Subaru Forester Sport. I'll show you guys some B-roll here, but essentially guys, I just wanna say that this isn't to brag, this is nothing like that at all. People who watch my YouTube videos are the OGs, people who really are down for what I'm doing, people who really support me. So if you guys are watching this, it's towards the end of the video. I don't wanna make this flashy, I didn't even put it in the title, but this is something where I really am happy, I'm very satisfied, but this is only the beginning and this is only gonna make me grind even harder. Um, this is something, like I said, I've never had as my own. I've never really had anything like this that's my own that I really have to stay on top of in terms of bills. I've never lived on my own. Own. So things like this where I don't really have a credit card. I don't have things like that. I'm a very simple guy This is something new to me, which I'm really kind of excited about but at the same time it doesn't go to my head It's not anything that is going to change who I am in the slightest Just wanted to let you guys know I'm excited about it But like I said, I'm not even gonna post on Instagram yet. There's nothing up there um, I posted a little boomerang on my story, but that was about it. So anyways Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate it, especially for those of you who have watched since the beginning of my channel, back when I made that video to Chris Jones about basically just asking him for a critique on my physique, which was like five years ago now. So it's crazy to think how far we've came, how far I've grown as a person, not only with a business mindset, as a coach, but also as just a human being. So um, thank you guys a ton. I genuinely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and it doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you guys. Um, anyways, I will talk to you guys very soon in the next one. Um, peace out. Take it easy, guys.